Hey guys, uh, welcome back to IELTS uh, series lesson writing test one uh, line graph. Today in this video, we'll teach and learn different uh, vocabularies related to line graph. More, more specifically, the rise and fall vocabulary. Uh, when describing any of the charts in IELTS writing test one, you might have to describe increases or decreases. So to achieve a high band score, uh, you need to use a variety of uh, vocabulary. To do not use the same uh, words or phrases over and over again. In fact, you should not use a noun or verb form to describe a trend or change uh, more than twice. One, one is once is better. So let's get going. Oh yes, as always uh, with me, my wife Kamta Sunul Islam. What's up, everybody? Uh, Tasin, uh, you see uh, some images on the screen, right? Yeah. So I have taken all these images uh, from the internet uh, to make you understand our today's uh, lesson. So, uh, what kind of diagram are these? No idea. Well, uh, they are called uh, line graphs. Uh, what do the line graphs show, Tasin? We can see how the cells are rising or going up over the week. Outstanding. So when uh, we describe a trend, when it goes up, we use the verbs rise, jump, uh, go, climb, go up, increase, then soar, affleet, etc. Good. Then we know a verb usually answers the question, what happened? Like sales or prices rose or increase. Heroic. Uh, we can also write uh, the hot dog sales uh, sold most on Friday or the production lift to its peak on uh, on Friday. The sales climbed or rocketed on Friday or we can say a surge of sales is seen on Friday. Impressive. That's it. Now the different verbs to describe the fall like a drop, decline, decrease, go down, plunge or plummet. The conjunction of red meat fell or decreased. Good. Or we can say the consumption of red meat remained stable or steady between 2002 and 2004. Then it dropped or declined sharply, you can say sharply or significantly or dramatically to its lowest point at 100. And that's all for today. See ya!